Phantom Weight Jump. has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting to step one and step two before his opponent even realizes now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hip back, immediately he's up into a foot switch. Or a head pump, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. All right, here he is for my money, Mike, the most well-rounded fighter in this division, a true mixed martial artist at his core, and he believes he'll have a lot of advantages in this matchup. Team. Everyone talked about him being well-rounded. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that can do everything across the board at such a high level. Yeah, he's comfortable wherever the fight goes. Maybe he'll grapple tonight, maybe he'll strike. Makes him a hard guy to prepare for. the tape for this bantamweight fight. Jan is five years the elder. The rest is roughly identical. We set it inside the octagon. We find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC at the weight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 20 wins, six losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Son And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 16 wins, five losses. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Petra Namurse And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our third man in the octagon for this one. Great. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the field. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well-rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. What a punch. Couple of chins here being tested early. Just out of range with that right hook. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Quickly gets that foot to the target. Big knee there to the chest. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And they separate. Oh, damage done. Bleeding from his cheek now. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just over three minutes to go, round one. Good punch. Back and forth we go here! Yeah. 
just unable to quite find that range. Keeping busy here in the clinch and landed a pretty good shot there. Nice strike by him. Get close, finding a spot, making sure the punch he throws was very effective. And they separate. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Good punch lands. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. He was high on that one. Some real power shots here. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Oh, big left. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time, this guy's making sure nothing lands. Just misses with that one. Powerful leg kick lands. Ooh, big shot land. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Leg kick. Oh, clipped him with the overhand. Single collar tie now. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Takes him down. Close guard. Oh, he continues to attack that bloody cheek. His face is a mess. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. 15 seconds. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, second round now underway. I'm no analyst, but a little bit of a feeling out process there in round one. And that's a part of being in the octagon with someone that's so skilled. You cannot just go after them, guns are blazing. Both of these young men are trying to find the right moment to attack. Big kick lands. Big head kick lands. Oh, that was Nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way, or the referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move, and when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, nice straight there. I guess that's the quickest way to the target, right? Just throw straight. Straight down is always best. And everything's landing with so much power. And now he's got that tight clinch. And there comes the separation now. 
starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Can't take many of those. You better check. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, now trying to isolate an arm, DC. He needs to move his hips back to cover. He cannot allow him on that angle. And attack an arm bar. Then he's out. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Nice hammer fist. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Ground and pound strike is true. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> And they both stand up. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand just out of range. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head and he's still standing. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, nice. Nice. is getting worse by the minute. Looking ghastly at this point. Head kick is blocked. Look at him drive his shin into the front of the body with that body kick. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. A oh, little single collar tie there. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Ten minutes in the books. All right, that is the end of the round, and some definite adversity for him here, or so you would think the cut on the bridge of the nose is only getting worse, and that nose might even be broken at this point in time. So certainly something that bears watching as we enter this next round. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And the takedown attempt, but he does not land it. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Just missed on the front kick there. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, nicely done as he gets the takedown.
Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Pretty significant welt to the left side. Well, you gotta be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, it's a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off of you. This guy has more punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Way to hide that leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. He's throwing every part of himself into the big leg kick. Takedown. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. All right, working inside the closed guard now. Oh, these are some big punches here from the top DC. He hasn't needed to enter his opponent's guard yet, and he may not have to. He may not have to, but he's doing a really good job of being aware. There's danger when you're standing on top of your opponent like that. You gotta watch up kicks. Notice how he leads with his hip when he goes to land the strike. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the ex Oh, faints upstairs as it lands. When they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. Oh, the kickboxing chops on full display with that offering. Nicely done. Beautiful kick landed by this man. Oh, big punch lands. All right, so he connects with another punch there, kind of targeting that cut, I think. I mean, when you get a cut on your opponent and you see it and it's pouring blood, you continue to attack it. Every time you land, you can see that it splits it a little bit more. Great job finding that weakness and really taking advantage of it. Pretty good strike there, but not a ton of meat on the bone. Kind of looks like me at the Boca Raton Boxing yeah. District. He's used everything down, cut him, take him down, cut him. Over and over, he's securing these takedowns. Nice hammer fist. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You continues to attack here. We'll see if he can set up the arm ball. Staying busy. Nice hammer fist. Back to his feet. Nice leg kick land. And they separate. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges scored the contest for 928. For the winner, by unanimous decision, so. 
right, nice job by him there, as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges out of it. Dominant performance, and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you gotta go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised. He did exactly that tonight, and he gets the dominance.